Are you in the mood for a little chuckle? Watch this. Good afternoon, Sand Hyper Air. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> Who is this? It's Lowell. <laughs> oh, hello, Lowell. Hi, Faye. Uh, how's your day? Fine. How's your wife and kids? Great. How's uh, your cold? Oh, um, much better, thanks for asking. Before I forget, uh, you better let him out. <laughs> Prince Albert. That's right. You get me every time. <laughs> I tell you, it's foolproof. Not in this case. Every pilot's dream dropping trout out of an airplane. <laughs> it's the part of the Lindbergh flight you don't hear much about. Hey, it's the off season, it pays the bills. Don't they usually stock these lakes with trucks? I underbid Charlie down at Charlie's Bait and Tackle. Yes, and now you can boast that you got the better of a man who spends most of his time down at the petting zoo stuffing goat chow down his pants. <laughs> okay, Brian, chill now when we're over the lake. I do. Hey, Helen. Yeah. Wanna take the controls for a minute? What? Oh, no, Brian. It's a rush. Brian, I can't do that. No, 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 I really couldn't do Could I, you think? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, take the yoke. <gasps> Beach tossing french fries into deep fat, huh? I'll say. Uh -huh. But I'm just holding on to the wheel. I'm not really flying it, right? Uh, you are now. <laughs> now? Yes, now. Here they go. What? Said now I dropped the fish. No, I wasn't talking. I was talking to her. <laughs> Wonder how long trout can live in trees. <laughs> Taking care of my dog while I'm in Boston, Faith. Oh, my pleasure, Roy. I love dogs. I'm sure Brutus and I will get along fine. Are there any special little treats that he likes? Anything that puts up a fight. Oh, <laughs> oh don't be silly, Roy. You're such a silly. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Can't you put him in the kennel? Not anymore. They banned him for life. <laughs> Some trumped up story about a missing chihuahua. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Roy. Oh, come on, Faye. Now, you can't back down on me at the last minute. You promised. Well, Whoops, there's my plane. I gotta go. Huh? I'm sure everything will be fine. Here's his muzzle, feeding glove, and discipline stick. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. If he lowers his ears and his pupils go completely black, run like hell. Have fun. <laughs> hey there, what can I do for you? Joe, I want you to teach me to fly. You? Yes. You want to fly? You. <laughs> Miss I Don't Date Pilots wants to be one? <laughs> Joe, ever since I had those controls in my hands this morning, it's all I can think of. That power, that freedom. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Yeah. I guess all those times you went on and on and on about flying, I should have been listening. <laughs> Gee, it always looked like you were riveted. Riveted? Comatose? It's a fine line. <laughs> hey, Brian, get a load of this. Helen wants to learn how to fly. <laughs> you? You want to fly? You, Miss I Don't Date Pilots, wants to be one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. Joe said the exact same thing. I know. I was eavesdropping. <laughs> okay, Joe, so you'll teach me to fly? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, you know, maybe I could find a few other students to start a little flight school. Yeah. Brian, you could teach the air stuff, and since I'm grounded, I could teach the ground stuff. Air stuff. Ground stuff. I'm lost. How about you, Helen? <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. I'll tell you when it starts. Great, thanks. Oh, oh Helen, by the way, uh, do you want to go see a movie Saturday night? Uh, are you talking about a date, or you just want to go to a movie? What's the difference? Where your hands are during the movie. <laughs> 
Brian. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. No, things are starting to get a little personal. You have to hit the other head with a hammer. <laughs> now, where were we? <laughs> oh, yes, I was trying your patience. <laughs> Uh, you know, tell him, when I asked you if you wanted to go to the movies, I was really just asking as a friend. Oh, good, because that's what I was hoping that you meant. You know, after that first date, this whole dating thing didn't seem to go so well. Yeah, no kidding. We never even went on a second date. Well, oh, you noticed that, too? <laughs> so, we're not dating. Obviously not. Great. Now we can go to the movies and enjoy ourselves. Great. Boy, us dating was one of the dumbest things to come down the pike in a long time. What were we thinking? I don't know. <laughs> Probably hoping we would fall in love and get married and... Be deliriously happy for the rest of our lives. <laughs> okay, I think we're just about ready to begin. Uh, Lowell, Lowell, why don't you come sit up here with the others? Well, okay, Joe, I just didn't want anyone to think I was kissing up to the teacher. Well, Lowell, by the way, thanks for the cigars and brandy. My pleasure, Joe. Hi, I'm Joe Hackett, and I would like to welcome you all to the inaugural class of the Hackett Flight Academy, where our motto is safety first, fun second. Uh, yes, Helen. I want to go up in a plane. When do we get to fly? Oh, Helen, an airplane is an incredibly complicated piece of machinery with dozens of dials and sophisticated instruments that have to be thoroughly understood before you take it thousands of feet in the air. Oh, so like after lunch? <laughs> Just be patient. Yes, Lowe? Uh, Joe, will there be a question about the motto on the final exam? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, anyway, just to get acquainted, why don't we all share why we want to fly, Helen? Because flying a plane is orgasmic. Okay, Lowell? Helen took my answer. Uh, Mrs. Windsor? Hello, I'm Kathy Windsor from Wawinit. I've been a housewife for over 23 years, and I'm here because I want to laugh in the face of death. Okay, just remember, safety first. Now, in today's class, we're going to talk about the basics of flight. Yes, Helen? So you're saying that we'll be flying in like a couple of days? Not in my plane, you won't. We've got a lot of material to get through here, people. All right, let's start by talking about the four forces that act upon a plane in flight. Those forces are lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Now, let, uh, let's start... With lift. Now lift, lift, lift. lift. Uh, hey, low. Can you borrow that pencil sharpener for a second? Uh, sure, teach. A lift can best be explained by Bernoulli's theorem, which states the faster a fluid moves past an object, the less side has. In a nutshell, is the theory of lift. Any questions? Yes! It's been six freaking days and we're still on lift. Six days. Six mind-numbing, coma-inducing, suicide-provoking days of pure and utter hell. Did we forget to raise our hand? Hey, where are you going? I'm just going to take a little break. Uh, yeah, why don't we all take a break? When we come back, we'll have a quiz. You'll need a number two pencil. Can I borrow a number two pencil? <laughs> You're boring. You're boring. You managed to suck every ounce of excitement out of the most exciting thing I've ever done. Well, I'm sorry you don't find it as exciting as my other students do. Oh, you're yeah, right. Lowell spent the entire class yesterday watching an ant push a grain of salt across his desk, and you know what? I envied him. You're a bitter woman, Helen. I'm going to go back into class. I suggest you join me. <laughs> Hey, little girl. You want to fly? I'll let you fly. Hey, hey. Hi, Roy. How was the trip? It's great. Where's Brutus? Where's my little meat grinder? Oh, he's out of his cage. Faye, he's you. <laughs> Brutus? Hey, what did you do to him? Nothing. I treated him very well. Now, I gave him my Yankee pot roast. I let him sleep on my bed, and I rubbed his tummy. Hey, how could you do that to him? You spoiled him. You turned him into a sissy dog. He's not a sissy dog. He just got in touch with his feminine side. Oh, you make me sick. 
that bow is coming off right now. <laughs> Although it, it does set off your eyes. <laughs> hey, Barry, come on, let's go fly. Nah, we can't take the plane until Joe leaves, and he's in there right now trying to inject some humor into tomorrow's lesson. Oh, forget about it. He'll be in there all night. We'll never get the plane out of here. Well, that might be true if you were talking to somebody who knew right from wrong, but as luck would have it, you're with me. <laughs> A successful pilot is the observant pilot. You've got to be aware of everything that's going on around you. You must be responsive to every movement of your aircraft. Good. It's good. Okay, Brian, when do I get to fly? All right, all right. Keep your pants on. Or not. Personally, I find flying off fresco quite liberating. Okay, okay. Take the off. Yeah, uh, you might want to give it a little more left rudder because you're starting to yaw a little bit. Rudder, rudder, that is right a pedal. There. Okay. Right. Yes, turn, baby, turn. Turn from mama, baby. Turn slowly. Hold on. Please stop doing that. Oh, stop turning? No, stop talking like that. You're starting to get me hot. <laughs> I mean, you are dating my brother. Well, actually not. We decided it wasn't such a good idea. Really? Yeah. Let's give it a little more right rudder. Oh, yes. Give it rudder. Oh, yeah. What if I join you? Oh. Oh. What was that? Shut up and keep turning. No, Brian, what was that? It was probably just a loose fire extinguisher or something. Here, hold the steady course. I'll check it out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah! Brian is out cold. She's going to have to make an emergency landing. All right. Nobody panic. The first thing is... Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, hey, call 911. Tell them to notify the paramedics we have a possible crash landing. Then call the hospital. Tell them to get their trauma team together just in case. Roy. Wait, how many minutes about... And then you're... Roy. 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 Call the fire department. Tell them we have foam and dry chemicals here, but I want their two newest bumper trucks here on the double. Tell them I know it takes eight minutes to get here. I want them here in four. I'm going to get the foam truck out on the runway. Now let's move it. This is for Helen. <laughs> the runway is this way. Right. <laughs> What's the situation, Walter? Our altitude is 3,500, heading 210, ceiling is 10,000 broken, wind 170, true at 5 knots. I've moved out the traffic in the area. She's clear to land. Got some apples over here if you're hungry. <laughs> no, 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 thanks. I belong to the Fruit of the Month Club. Next month, mangoes. <laughs> Helen, I can't see you, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure you're flying level. How's your attitude? How's my attitude? How is my attitude? It stinks. That's how my attitude is. I'm flying in a gas tank with wings. How would your attitude be? You gotta help me, Joe. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I meant the plane's attitude. Oh, um, uh, uh, well, the, the, the wingy things are level with the horizon. Okay. Good. Okay, now just take it easy, listen to everything I say, and you're gonna be just fine. I don't know how I'm going to talk her down. It's good to see you up here, Joe. I don't get much company. Did you see that Bruins game yesterday? Walter, can we chat later? I'm in the middle of a little crisis. I saw this happen once before, and yeah. it turned out fine. I forget. <laughs> Bratzel? Helen, I'm having a little trouble making you out. Uh, can you wiggle your wings? Well, I'm having a little trouble making you out. Can you wiggle the tower? She's a little spitfire. Okay, I can see you. I can see you. Now, uh, 
You're too high. Uh, maybe you should swing around and come in again. Yeah, maybe I should go out on the wing and do a little sand dance, but I'm not going to, Joe. I'm going to land, and I'm going to land right now. All right. Reduce your speed by half. And you're lined up perfectly with the runway. Uh, now, after I tell you to do something, you say check, so I know you've done it, okay? Okay. Okay. Set the fuel selector to main tanks. Set the fuel selector onto the main tanks. I'm um, check. Good. Now, uh, make sure that the auxiliary fuel pump is on. Do you remember where that is? Um, no. Come on, Helen, come on. Did you ever think about growing a mustache? <laughs> Shouldn't you be doing something? Nope. I pretty much just watch the blips. <laughs> Hey, there she is. <laughs> oh, Joe, I don't know where the auxiliary fuel pump is. Helen, we went over this in class today. Oh, that's right, you weren't in class today. <laughs> Have time for a lecture right now, Joe. Just tell me where the damn thing is. Oh, I found it myself. <laughs> All right, set the fuel mixture to full rich. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, throttle to idle, flaps to one quarter. And it, keep your wing straight. No, no, straight, straight, straight. Okay, okay, don't think you'll let me do. All right, you're over the runway. No, no, use the yoke back. That's right, that's it, that's it. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, I did it. <laughs> do. Do. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. You handled that crisis beautifully. I didn't know you had that in you. Roy, some men are born leaders. Others have leadership thrust upon them. It's incredible. Good night, Lowell. Oh, oh, one more thing. <laughs> Never do that to me again. Gotcha. <laughs> night, Roy. Night, Lowell. Hey, Brian. Brian, are you okay? Yeah, my head's still sore. I banged it pretty bad. You take care of yourself. I want you strong and healthy when I beat your brains out. Helen, Helen, put that gun down. I can't do that. John, kill me if I took his plane. It would be wrong. Wrong. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Helen, what are you doing? Get out here. Oh, I know what I did was wrong, Joe. I'm sorry. Please, just don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I guess I deserve that. Helen, when you were up in the plane, and I was wondering if I could ever get you back in one piece, I could only think about one thing. I know. I know, Joe. I could only think of one thing, too. And I bet we were thinking about the same thing. We're wimps. That wasn't it. <laughs> but we are. We're wimps. We're so afraid to take a chance on anything. So what if dating might ruin our friendship? You dying in a fiery crash would have done a pretty good job of that, too. So what are you saying? I'm saying, let's go for it. Let's not hold anything back. Let's take the ultimate step. Let's... date. <laughs> then we were thinking about the same thing. Boy. What some people won't do for a higher grade. 